stuff. This is me, middle of nowhere. Real life stuff. This is an old shotgun. It's a 12 gauge, full choke. It's a Markswell model 1914. 12 gauge, full choke. It has a serial number in here. So it's an Alpha 28930. And it's got this, I don't know. Oh, there's a little damage on the butt. And somebody had nailed that in there, so I'm not really going to take it off. But I'll, I can move it apart there so you can see it. Like my last one there with the Damascus double barrel. Or twisted fucking barrel, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do a cleaning. I've never taken this apart. I know it cycles. So it's similar to a Winchester. Like, it's a pain in the ass. Like, fuck is it? There we go. Let's see how the bolt comes out. And it's decent, but it, it has a long stroke. And there we go. You gotta really like, slam it closed. And it will fire. Now, and there's a little half cock. You literally just. There you go. I don't know if you heard that click. But that's as far as it goes. And then there. There is also a little an O button, an O indentation. I'll show you that in a second. On that. That is. It, it, it's been beat up. Somebody did bronzing to clean that up, make it look good. For, from what I can tell, those are screws I've got to get set in, so once I take off the top piece and separate from what I see, the trigger from... Try to look at that angle, because the bolt's here and the other bolt is there. It could be on an angle where this connects to the one. It is going to be a nightmare to try to get that out, but I'm going to try to do it. I want this cleaned and I want to oiled up and a lot of this rust free. So there's, I don't know, a lot of damage to it. So I have finally figured out how to take this apart. It's been a good, good hour, okay? <laughs> it's simple as soon as you figure it out. One thing I did notice, the stock even has a number. So it's kind of close, but it's hard to see. You can tell it's a a 930 with the 8 and the 2 a bit. Like if you really look, it is a 2, but it's just if you know <laughs> how the old school uh, lettering is, that would be legit. Because that looks like a 3, that's a 9. It's just how the wood goes. There's no n letter on it. Just the digits. People just don't take care of their items. Regardless, sure, it's a gun. It's a piece of... It's an old thing. It may not be worth a lot, but... Somebody invented this. And this guy... Or the guy's actually is... Marshall Wells Company... They own the patent to how this gun is made. But it's made by the Marlin. Marlin Manufacturing Company. And Marshall Wells, from what I just found on the internet a little while ago, is from Duluth, Minnesota. This is apparently the only gun that I know of. I haven't researched any other guns. Because I wasn't really worried about all the other guns. So I know they they had the patent for this, but... 
Marlin was tasked to make it. So it's a Marlin technically built, but it's it's a Marshall Wells patent. Which to me, that's fine. Marlin make really good quality guns. And their manufacturing process is really well sought after. So it's not like it's a bad thing that it's made by one company and then but patented by the other. Because if you're a guy that knows how to design, you're not a guy that knows how to build, get a guy that knows how to build. So that way you have the best of both worlds. And some people are calling this a slide action. Okay? Because you've seen how it slides out the, the receiver. But I still call it a pump because you're technically pumping it. There's just so much crap in here. Okay. So I'm just going to clean all this up. Get it done to what I need to do. And we'll go on to the next part. Okay, so you see, there's your bolt for the, or sorry, the pin and the lock bolt for the bolt for the actual bolt. I'm not going to completely take this apart, or maybe I will. Maybe I could. You know what? No, got to be a way of taking that out. But I don't want to. I see. So this pin locks your firing pin all the way in. So maybe. No, I would have to really look at that. How the crap that I just scraped out of the back of that. Yeah. So I would have to really bash that out, and I'm not planning on bashing this thing. It's over a hundred years old. <laughs> it's got to be. Apparently, that serial number is somebody was trying to say that the this model of 1914 was prior to the World War One. Well, 1914, well, I don't really think it is, but whatever that model is. Yeah, so I'm going to get this done. it be a quick cleaning. Now, in there, if she is there, okay, that is... Patent number 291904. Okay, that's for right here. It sets up like this. That is for your 
uh, release mechanism for the bolt. It's a bolt release mechanism. I'm pretty sure that's a word, probably, but but that's what I found out. There's a new piece there, new marking. Sorry, and also I noticed there on the trigger mechanism is the number so two eight nine three zero. So I know this is all one piece. Sorry, all one gun. Thread. That's not good because I gotta be careful. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm threading it the wrong way. Okay. There. Now. There we go. See how that's going in right there so that's where this has to line up with the with the uh, with the bolt piece here okay but I'm gonna put that in place there now it's it's technically in there so all I gotta do is this is just tighten down the tensioner and that will stay in place. It is partly assembled. I'm just going to put it all on my legs because it's easier to show. So, through here, first thing I did, receiver. Receiver has to go in. You see how there's a upper rail and a side rail? It has to match in there. And then that gets locked into the slide here. Okay, what goes in next is this. That piece there. So these two pieces and this bolt. So this bolt will go across and this goes in, locks itself down like this because that goes in there and just sets it and it hooks on the bottom okay that's how that do that works it hooks itself on the bottom just got to be careful when doing it so it's like a, a, a gravity thing and then having this set upside down like that going over sitting down on top of it Holy crap, maybe I could. If this shotgun doesn't move, keep fucking turning. There, if I could put this in. I know, camera work is really horrible. The gun is more focused than the damn camera, okay? That goes in there. Was that even the right part? Yeah, it was. Okay, now I gotta pull this trigger up, or sorry, the, the, the bolt release, there, and that's in. Just like that, because that releases the bolt. It presses it up, does whatever it needs to do. So that technically is done. You have it there, this, the hammer has to be the next piece that goes in. So that just slides its tang part up there. And that just, just sits there for now. Okay. This thing just stays in the right place. I don't care about the leaf spring on there. Just keep it down. Because that technically goes on that roll right there. But right now, I don't care if it's off to the side. I've got to get this in here. Right there. But I also have it off to go to this side. So I have to make sure that... That there has to be steady. So I gotta do that and I'll show you. Didn't touch these two, but I got that one in place. And I just had to press down on the trigger a bit just to get it out of the way. See, it's not gonna go up or anything. I could pull the trigger to release that. But this will go like that. Doesn't matter if it's on there right now. Probably there. There. Because there's that extra safety I told you about. See how it's there? So it doesn't really matter right, right now. Just got to get these front two bolts in. And then I put on the stock, which is simple because it's, well, by the seams, it's just one bolt that sits in place. One bolt that just goes through. That's it. Yep, that's all it is. One single bolt. I'm not going to do anything to that because I don't want to touch the stock. And 
then I, that's with that bolt. So look at three bolts left. Just put that in. Okay, simple. I put those that bolt in, that bolt in. Okay. Now this is all the way, and I backed off that screw just enough that I can get my finger under and just put this in there and to center it. Okay. That's all you're doing. See how it's a little cockeyed? Yeah, that'll straighten out as soon as I tighten that down. So hopefully, it won't be a nightmare. See, if I had a better screwdriver, I'd do that. But I'm just going to tighten that down, and then you'll see. Okay, and it really hits hard. So whoever did this before, didn't tighten this down all the way they needed to. So it's hitting nice and hard, and it, and you could feel the torque on it. There. Beautiful. And the easiest thing, you slide the stock on, put in your one bolt that goes through, and look at that, you're pretty much done. It's just that easy. Well, I'm left handed so I gotta make it go for left handed purple. In there and it pops out nowhere because it's a blind hole at the bottom right here all right so that is done Pull that out of the way that can move out of the way let us hook patches and there we go Reassembles, re clean and all cleaned See, I can't look through a goddamn camera like you got, like the other YouTubers. You know, it, it just looks weird. There we go. Let's see how bad this stock is. Probably should have done this while it was off the gun. But the gun is actually holding it in place while the rest of the shotgun is holding it in place so, while I do this. Okay, there, dirty shoelace off. Get off. There we go. So it's not really that bad. I'm just gonna. Oh, there we go. Yank that crap off. It actually got the nail out too. Good. So now we can take a good look at this. Okay, it's a cracked butt stock. Right at the bottom, and top here. I'm not too worried. I can just put an epoxy. I can put an epoxy over that, and I'm gonna give this a light rubbing down right now because it is rough. So that leather is bad for the gun, as it just chewed the finish the hell. Just trying to uh, a little smoother. I'm gonna leave it off though. So I'll sew this up make this back to normal because that's what it's supposed to be I'm not putting a stupid nail in it because that is just horrendously dumb but that when it pulled out that nail now what that tells me is this whole getting held in here this leather is really strong so to keep to pull out a nail with leather is it's got to be really good quality so this is probably a original genuine leather from like the 19 fucking 20s or could be a little later. I don't know. It's just really strong and then it's going to get rebuilt. And I'll put it back on there only because, well, this looks like shit. But I'll put it on nice and tight. Okay. Now the thing is, to cycle the action. My hair looks like shit. I don't know what I look like. Alright, so... There, I'll even do it right hand because... See the cycle? So, cock it back. Can't do anything. Got to have that forward. It works perfect. Half cock works. Full cock works. Shoots off. Boom. 
see, uh, there's a little bit of issues. Hit the bolt release. Okay. Oh yeah, there's still a bit of a... See you mean? Like, so I have to help it with the slide release. But that is some Mer Maxwell, or sorry, Marshall Wells Company. So the Mar Marswell 1914. There you go. Pumped up, mill door. There you go. That's again. Clean. Re put together. Because, well, it needed it. It was disgusting. And like, subscribe, comment. Look, if you know any more about these guns, let me know. Have a good one.